हेलो एवरीवन हाय झांसी हाय माधवी हाउ यू हाउ आर यू गाइस आई कैन सी इफ यू पीपल आर जॉइनिंग इन गाइस डू शेयर दिस सो दैट uh people will join us and we will start this video i mean sorry live session ah uh, that's great madhvi i am doing good too okay so so today in this live uh, we are going to create this project using very few things so as i always say uh, mixed media is not at all difficult you can start from anywhere hi kanika how are you and you don't need too much supplies to create mixed media only few things and you are good to go so in every live session that's what my motto is that you know i can bring uh, projects that um, are absolutely for beginners or you know you can also try if you are not beginner so you can see in this project i have used very minimal supplies so i'm just waiting for few people and then we will start hi hinal hi bhanu priya good evening ah uh, thank you so much kanika hi shilpa also let me know is my video clear and i'm audible and you know there is no issue from my side so ever since i started metallic so i just love using metallics in my mixed media project so uh, you know they really adds very nice shine as you can see in this and your project looks very beautiful and elegant at the same time hi mayank Oh thank you so much guys for confirming so can we start so today uh, to create this project i am using this imix ground texture paste this uh, this is very nice range of texture paste if you guys you know have checked this out there are uh, i think five yeah there are five uh, texture paste and one gel uh, glass gel medium so in this i am going to use only this uh, three texture paste so every texture paste has their own um, different ingredients and texture in it so you can see in this here you can see little bit heavy texture and in this it's bit light texture and here uh, i have used this black granite so these are uh, sorry among all the five texture paste uh, these have little bit more extra texture into it and this one is my absolute favorite product so okay and i kept this project very simple like uh, you know you can uh, if you are a beginner you can try this project and here i have used this newly launched uh, bulb chippy so these works very perfect for focal points so i have more designs in this here three designs i have and these are very delicate and you know 
beautiful chipboard uh not this one let's see this one so there are gears in here chains and uh very well composited uh you know this chipboard is so you can uh uh, use i mean you just buy these uh, different types of bulb and you know these are perfect for your focal point so you don't have to buy much for your focal point in case if you don't know uh, what to add in focal point so this this one is perfect product for that okay so i think we can start now so for the base uh, i have used mdf uh, mdf piece so i have these three different mdf pieces which i have uh, just uh, arranged on top of each other to create extra layer uh, onto the project okay so just a second guys let me open that session here so that i can you know answer you if there there are any questions okay so to create base first so um this time what i have thought that instead of creating project just like a normal you know just instead of using it in normal way i have used i mean i have arranged the composition in uh, this kind of a uh, uh, shape so uh, just to i mean here you just add one hook and this project will be uh, look like this on the wall okay so first uh, what i will do uh, okay so first what i will do we uh, i will just create texture first using stencil so uh, basically i'm not gonna cover entire surface using a uh, stencil and texture paste i'm just going to uh, cover uh, this area using stencil and texture paste okay so for that i'm going to use this stencil look how amazing texture it i mean how amazing design it has so this plank uh, this piece is 6 by 6 i think 6 by 6 so i'm just uh, okay so as uh, this piece will be on uh, top of this one so i am just going to uh, stencil the left over area so just arrange your stencil uh, on your project and i am using this mud brown ground texture paste Hi Afrin, how are you? Where is my palette knife? Okay. So this design is really intricate, and I want it. Uh, a li little bit perfect so just take out uh, enough amount of uh, picture paste on your palette knife and just use this i mean spread it on to the project and as i said earlier i am going to use this piece on top of uh, this base one so no need to cover entire background just hi 
हाय रानी या एब्सोल्युटली दिस स्टेंसिल इज अमेजिंग all the four sides i am going i am going to cover and this will take around 1 uh, hour to dry completely but in case if you want to uh, speed up the drying process hi hazel so just in case if you want to speed up the drying process so just use heat gun but uh, remember the base is uh, mdf if, in case if you are using mdf then just remember that the base is mdf so don't apply too much of heat because uh, because of heat the mdf tends to get little bit puff so just be careful with that okay so i think okay so look at this hi vidhi okay and also when you are using this texture paste don't forget to you know use your sorry wash your stencil immediately because if this texture paste gets stuck on your stencil it will get bit difficult to remove it so okay and now on this also i need little bit texture so i'll just keep this aside and using another stencil i will create Uh, texture on this so this one is also from expressions craft and look at this beautiful design yeah with the absolutely these are my favorite too and my all bottles are empty because i use this in almost every project okay so for next one i am using um this ground texture paste ice and snow hi rini oops sorry sorry for that okay so as i did uh, on this i'm going to you know stencil on this another uh, another piece as well same way because on this i'm going to stick this uh, piece so again no need to cover entire uh, background just you know the sides or whatever the left area you need to apply this um, texture paste and this texture paste is a bit fine than other texture paste so if you want uh, like um, light textured area then you can go for this texture paste Okay. 
and just remove your stencil look at this isn't it beautiful guys Thank you so much Rani. Okay. So. Now uh, what. Uh, I will do. I will create. Uh, I will spread some texture paste on this as well. So that. Uh, we will just. Glue this on. On this plank. And on this uh, piece, I haven't used any texture paste. I just, uh, you know, spread this texture paste using palette knife just to add um, more, uh, what to say, just to add more texture look as you can see here. Can you see this texture, uh, sorry. Can you see this, uh, the layer of black granite texture paste? this one is my absolute favorite texture paste again using a palette knife just take little amount of texture paste and using palette knife uh, spread this texture paste and you can hear uh, the granules it has very uh, nice coarsely grounded uh, granules so basically it has um, actual uh, granite uh, what you say actual granite thing in it so I hope you got my point and when this uh, texture paste dries completely this especially black one, uh, black one so it just you know turns black completely so now you can see bit grayish uh, shade but when you dry this it will be like uh, completely black okay i think i need brush to spread this texture paste little bit what you are saying what's the name of texture paste uh, Madhvi, it's a uh, black granite texture paste. So on this piece, I'm using, uh, I have used black granite. And on this, I have used ice and snow. And on another one, I have used mud brown. Okay, so using brush, I'm just going to spread this evenly not evenly like just you know i want to cover this background this piece background so just yeah with the white one is ice and snow okay as you can see i am just uh, dabbing my brush just to you know move this texture all over to the piece because it just got stuck here okay so i think enough of this texture paste and it don't want to come out from the jar <laughs> okay hi sonika how are you glad to see you here okay so I think all the area is covered almost.
हाय रश्मि ओके सो नाउ आई एल जस्ट यूज हिट गन टू स्पीड अप द ड्राइंग प्रोसेस बिकॉज वी नीड टू स्टिक दिस एंड लेयर दिस प्रोजेक्ट नाउ सो एज यू कैन सी दिस लेयर इज ऑलमोस्ट ड्राइड so at some places it's dry at some places it's still wet so i'll just use heat gun so you have to bear little bit of noise and also uh, don't forget to distribute the heat because the base is mdf and now when i dry this uh, this texture paste will turn completely black so thank you so much sonika so just little bit of you know this and when you took out this texture paste from the jar guys trust me this smells amazing especially this uh, mud brown it smells so amazing <laughs> so now i'll just uh glue down this uh panels on top of each other so this is the basic you know i mean i'm just creating base so to glue down these pieces together i'm using a mix art gel medium so this really holds all the um elements nicely onto your base piece so just using good amount of texture uh, sorry gel medium going to stick this on this okay and next i will stick this one as well so it's not necessary that you know you have to use canvas uh, to create uh, your mix media you can uh, make mix media on anything so like if you have this kind of uh, you know small pieces of uh mdf board you can create that uh mix i mean you can create mix media on this as well and this one yeah okay i think so look at this our base is almost ready so as you can see i only used texture paste and stencil to you know create this beautiful effect and next color so that's it so uh, my motto was that's what i was saying that you know you need very little or very minimal products to create mix media okay this one is still okay so 
okay so now um here you can see i have used this um bulb chipboard for focal point so i don't have similar one so what i will do i have other three designs so just let me know which one should i use i have this one i have this one so this one and i do have this one as well so just let me know which one shall i go with and uh, i have used heat emboss i mean i have used um, embossing powder to get this embossed look can you see so i'm just thinking which one to use okay so i'll go with this one white one as offering says okay okay so before that okay we have finalized the focal point so before that uh, i'm going to add deco stones around um, this uh, uh this piece so it will add little bit of more texture and interest to our project so i am using again a gel medium to stick this um uh, deco stones onto the plank sorry i can't say plank it's like piece mdf piece so first apply um uh, gel medium and this really holds your deco stones nicely so instead using any other glue just go for go with this uh, gel medium and i'm using a uh, micro deco stones because uh, you can see the space is little you know this uh, piece is bit thin so i thought this uh, smaller one go i mean smaller one look nice on this and i'm going to uh, stick this all around all around this piece guys do share this video so you know who wants to learn uh, mix media this video will be helpful for them as well also invite your uh, crafty friends okay enough of these stones okay so now uh, it will take little time to get dry so meanwhile i will just uh, emboss this Okay for that I am using embossing pad So 
so just cover uh, your entire chipboard with this uh, embossing pad and then just uh, sprinkle embossing powder on on it so that the uh, embossing powder will stick on this chipboard okay and when you are using embossing powder so don't forget to you know have some paper underneath it so that you can uh, collect the embossing powder okay so for this i am using two embossing powders so one is antique gold and the another one is sparkle gold so first i will just sprinkle some antique gold Okay. And after that I am going to sprinkle this sparkle gold. So this both looks really amazing together. Okay. As you can see, so entire chipboard is covered. And these are really you know micro powder so it's just you know gets everywhere <laughs> okay so now I will just heat set this embossing powder so again the noise of heat gun So when you start heating this embossing powder, you will see like you know miracle is happening. <laughs> and I love seeing these you know embossing powder nails because they really create re like nice and sparkly shiny look on your chipboard. So can you see the shine? Okay, so this one is still, okay, look at this, okay, so it's done, and now to give this look, I first have cover entire project using black gesso, and then I adhere this uh, chipboard piece so to save that time i have already created this piece so same because these deco stones are still wet and if i start applying uh, gesso they will just fall off so it's better i'll just let this dry naturally and meanwhile we will color this okay and uh, where is the color so i am thinking to color same way because i love the combination of blue and gold together so i am using uh, i am going to use same color here so uh, again uh, i am using metallic uh, one is normal metallic sapphire blue and this one is iridescent metallic paint so since the background is black so this will be like gold one so that's why i have uh, embossed this uh, focal point in using gold embossing powder okay so first uh, 
we will start applying this blue shade and just taking little bit of blue on your brush and start applying it and when you start applying metallics all the texture or whatever stencil part everything just you know start uh, popping out from the background And I want this middle portion little bit uh, dark in shade because I really want to highlight uh, you know the main uh, focal point or focus of this project should be uh, this uh, chipboard. So that's why I keep I mean I'm going to keep this uh, sorry what I'm saying I'm going to keep this middle portion little bit black in shade. And just using dry brush, I'm going to highlight whatever the texture we have added. Okay, and next we will move to our next layer of this. So, hi, Bauna. Okay, so, uh so basically uh, glue will be uh, you know inner side of this and then I am going to add a gold. So here I am just you know first I first will just apply blue shade and then I will go with the gold one. And thing is when you apply a decent metallics so uh, if you kept it just like that I mean just naturally you kept it on uh, sorry what if you kept it just to you know uh, for one or two hour the shade will get little bit darker than when you apply it it, it uh, when you apply the, that time it will be just like a uh, uh, little bit lighter and if you kept this for one or two hour then it will be like uh, as I said a uh, darker so that's the thing I love about a decent metallics so when I applied uh, gold on this so that time it was looking little bit blackish but uh, then I kept it for overnight and next morning it was like sparkling uh, gold so and I love that effect okay again uh, moving to our third layer and as you uh, apply this paint using dry brush technique so texture start to pop out so as you can see here So right now it's looking bit black but once I start applying gold then the finished piece will be amazing.
okay so now i think enough of this blue paint now using same brush i will apply this iridescent metallic paint gold one so i'm not going to wash this i'm just you know removing the excess blue paint from the brush so when you use same brush that way uh, the project will not look muddy so and uh, all the two i mean two colors will just blend together nicely so, so as you can see here so this is what i was talking about when you are applying this paint you will see it bit light in uh, shade but after completely dry so look how shiny and you know dark it gets and i'm just coming little bit towards the blue to get the blended look thank you so much madhvi okay so i think i have applied little bit of gold here too much but that's okay okay and this side as well so i will do same process for here as well here can you see the shine i hope you can okay so i think it's done thank you so much didi bhavani di sorry otherwise <laughs> uh, uh i think i think i need little bit of blue here because you can see you know this blue is bit less here so using same brush i will just you know apply blue just to you know at this mm yeah so now it's looking good for me okay oops i think
look all the textures and whatever uh, texture paste and deco stones we have applied they just popped from the background okay so i think i need like this because the texture is bit less here and it will be easier for me to you know stick this focal point over here thank you so much bhavani di thank you rani so now uh, i will just you know uh, glue this here because i have heated this so it just you know the little bit okay now it's perfect so again i'm using a gel medium to stick this a focal point and i'm not going to apply gel medium all over this chipboard i am just going to apply glue here because the so that rest part will be you know bit up from the background and that will look nice so add here So just to middle portion. Oops. Okay. And these bulb chippies are amazing to create mixed media cards as well. They will perfect for. I mean, they are perfect for focal point. So I need to keep something heavy on this to you know uh, as as uh, what I was saying. Okay, so I need to keep something heavy on this so that this chipboard will stick onto this. And uh, what you're saying? so uh, chitsana i hope i am pronouncing your name correctly all the chipboards you will get from expressionscraft.in or .com if you are outside of india so all these chipboards are available on expressionscraft website okay and i'll just uh, finish this piece uh, by adding this sentiment Okay, I'm just trying to you know stick this because underneath it has little bit of heavy texture. Okay, so I uh, I will just add uh, the sentiment using foam tape. And where is my foam tape? So before starting live, I keep everything nearby, and when live start, I don't know where things just vanish. Okay, so using little bit of foam tape, I will add this sentiment over here. Okay, so you will get all these chipboards from uh, www.expressionscraft.in there are so many designs available like in background for floral and steampunk so all kind of design you will get on the website okay and our project is done so look at this
so i hope you guys have enjoyed this you know little session of mixed media project using minimal uh, products okay and i forgot to add um, just a minute okay so i also have added this uh, flat back pearls just to you know um, enhance the look little bit and to give a uh, finishing look to the project so just here and there uh, nothing to be precise so just add wherever you want thank you rani thank you so much shruti okay and maybe one more here so by tomorrow or till you know night this color will turn a little bit darker in shade and where to add here maybe oh no this three are coming in you know symmetry we don't want that okay maybe here i think enough of this where to add okay i'm not finding any place so i'll just get this thank you so much mila okay so when you are adding these uh, pearls just add um, gel medium at back of this so that they will stay together i mean stick to this you know for longer time okay so this is done and just add a hook over here and it will look beautiful on your wall so i hope you guys have enjoyed this and thank you madhvi do try this kind of project and don't forget to share with us we do have group uh, where you know you can share your creation using expressions craft products okay okay so now i'll just keep something heavy on this uh, on this area so this bulb will get stick on to the project and it will not fall off so, and i love the you know effect of the gears and chains going on here you can also use a gear stencil uh, uh, in the background that will also look good but uh, i wanted to try this new stencil and these designs are really appealing to try and really you know look uh, how you can say uh, beautiful or intricate design so i had tried that but you can use any steampunk style uh, stencil for this project too okay then i will just wrap this session up and i hope you guys have enjoyed this sure a friend do give this project try i would love to see your make and the more i am pressing this it just coming uh, out okay i'll just leave this like that okay then okay i'll just see you in next session till then bye bye take care and happy crafting as also let me know if you guys have any question so just comment down and i will try to you know answer every question and i'll just clarify every doubt which you have okay then thank you rani thanks a ton okay bye bye take care and happy crafting bye